it's the end of March so I'm going to share with you the products that I've been loving this month. So firstly there are a couple of cold pencils that I have here from Clarins. Uh, I'll just turn it that way. And this one here that I have in my hand is Smoky Plum and the other one is Intense Brown. Now these are really really creamy they blend beautifully so I found that when I'm wanting to do a, a sort of a smoky sort of smudged out eye that these work beautifully the texture is really lovely um, there is the brown and right next to it is smoky plum and I've just sort of smudged that out a little bit to show you how well it does smudge with the built-in brush it's firm enough to get into the the coal and give it a really nice smudge without you ending up with it all over the place so love both of those another product that I have taken a little while to get into but um, because I didn't get it straight away is the benefit gimme brow now I have spoken before about how important it is to have groomed brows I think it makes a huge difference what I've found as I've got older is that I'm having to have my eyebrows dyed because I'm starting to get a few grey hairs through there which I just can't believe is happening but anyway I don't evidently have any grey hair on my head because I've asked my hairdresser that but what I've found is that not only trying to keep my brows groomed um, because they're also thinning a little bit and because of those blonde hairs having a product like this which has got a really really small little spoolie there on the end makes it really easy for you to be able to just get in there and add a little bit extra so not only is it colored but they also have little fibers in there so in the areas where I'm actually a little uh, less full in my brow just by adding that just really helps to give me the impression that I have actually just recently had my eyebrows done when in reality they're overdue so love the gimme brow I think it's a great thing another product um, I'm very much love my lip products and have probably more than enough but you know what's a girl to do she loves her lip products so she buys more but um, I was recently sent this product here which is by Ulta 3 and this is their lip paint. Now this to me is a hybrid between a lipstick and a lip gloss. It lasts exceptionally well. I love the applicator. It is just a little dough foot applicator like that. It makes it really easy when you're wanting to paint it on your lips. It gives you the, because you can actually hold it for the, the, the sort of the fine tip there, you can actually line your lips um, and then paint them in and that works really well. It also has a peppermint scent which whilst I'm not a huge fan of the scent, it does sort of give, give you a little bit of a zing so, and they are really inexpensive. Great value for money. Talking about hair. I have just recently had my hair cut off as you can probably tell and I still love to be able to get volume in my hair so I have been using this fudge mega hair milk now normally with my hair I tend to use a mousse and have been using a mousse for as long as I can remember and this is quite a different product you only need the tiniest tiniest bit rub it through your hair and the volume that you get is quite amazing so it smells beautiful and the performance has been really great so I don't know we'll have to see whether I go back to mousse but I'm certainly loving this also talking about hair there's another product that um, you'd be aware of the Nooks dry oil well Gino have come out with this beautiful Huel Merific oil and you can use this all over your body you can use it over your um, on your face but most commonly I've found that I've been using it in my hair it helps to give that extra luster to my hair the smell is divine and um, my body and also my hair have been absolutely loving this so this is definitely one that I'm going to continue using another lip product that I picked up in the Priceline 40% off sale was an Enoxa lipstick I have had a couple of their lipsticks in the past but this one here is I don't even know what the range is to be honest but um, the color is called peach lily 
it is absolutely beautiful it feels like a gloss when you put it on it just feels so comfortable and it is just the most perfect perfect color I actually have this on top of a slightly brighter pink that I had on before and I thought I just want a little bit of a lift so I pop this over the top and I'm really loving it now also you probably noticed I have this lovely color of nail polish on my fingers at the moment and this is the Ellis Teal and Wheel this is part of the Brighton collection there are some beautiful colors in the collection um, here's a couple of others for you here a lovely lovely coral cafe is this one and this one here is called lime sorbet the thing that I love about these is that they go on really easily and they're like a gel consistency so you get that beautiful seamless um, finish on the nails and I find that they do last a very very long time so highly recommend those um, last but not least is the most beautiful <laughs> palette that I was sent this one here is a Tom Ford palette as you can see there just beautiful packaging this is part of their current range this is the she wolf and there's three eyeshadows there they are the most beautiful colors this shimmery one on the end here is quite glittery so for daytime if I'm going to use it I use the tiniest tiniest bit put it on my finger and just dab it in the center of my eye just to give that little extra something the first time I use this I found out why people absolutely adore Tom Ford beauty products because the consistency of the eyeshadow was just second to none it goes on like butter they last all day and I'm absolutely in love with this and I was very excited to hear that we are going to have a full Tom Ford um, counter in the new David Jones Beauty Hall when that is already done by the end of this year so I'm very excited to explore more of the Tom Ford so there's a few of the products that I've been loving in March this year and I look forward to sharing with you next month the things that I've been loving in April but if you would like to tell me what you've been loving this month I'd love love to hear so please leave the comments in the description bar below and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye!